Hello and welcome back. This is the Future of Photography. I'm Chris, there's Imar, there's Adrian, and then there is um, Ova, I'm pointing in the right direction, there's a placeholder <laughs> for where Jeremiah should have <laughs> been, but uh, he has a family thing and can't make it. So it's just the three of us. You'll have to make do with us. Hello. <laughs> hello, hello. Good evening. How's everybody? <laughs> Well, it's a it's an interesting way to start the new school year, but hey ho! <laughs> it's the 9th yep. of January, twenty twenty one. So, everyone, look look in your calendar and check what you did at that time. So, I'm I'm taking uh -huh. some pluses right out of this because you know I for the first time in many years I have an office buddy this week. You do, although I yeah I do yeah and and, uh, and for, a for home office days, buddy. Yeah, yeah, a home office buddy. So, uh -huh. so we've had a yeah, we've been sharing the children amongst the parents, and we've all been sat doing our teams calls, whether it's actual work or schooling. We've all been sat doing our teams calls, and you know, what? it's nice to have somebody around in the office, just off camera from a point of view of where we're shooting just now. So, okay. just a little buddy. That's very good. Cool. Yes, they've already learned the classics as well, like shouting at the top of their voices, "You're on mute." Uh -huh. <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm... Ah, uh, there we go. I pressed the wrong button. Um, I just, I just want to point out the, the 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 cards again. The oh, uh, yeah. the um, you're on mute. <laughs> yeah. So um, those, if if you can get a hold of those or or of the app, then um, that's gonna be nicer you know it, to your office bodies. Do you know what? if it if it doesn't break copyright, I might email the art teacher. <laughs> <laughs> and get her to set making some of those as an assignment for the children. <laughs> have I added? <laughs> yeah, ha have we good. added the link to one of the last show notes? I'm just trying to remember. We did say we were going to. We did mm -hmm. say we were going to. But I'll, I... I'll, I'll check and make sure that they're in there because they are really relevant. And and the app, of course, the um, it's not an app. It's a web a website that does the same thing, and you you just tap on it and. What's it called again? Cthinkdo.it. <clears throat> and on there you look for meeting we're, cards yeah you see we're, we're professional and we do a bunch of pre-flight checks don't we so um we wouldn't need any of that stuff because we, we 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 know what we're doing totally <laughs> they're getting so much promo from us we should each get a, a pack yeah well it's like <laughs> for your all your product placement <laughs> absolutely yes the future of photography product <laughs> Future oh, photography uh, uh, podcast. Um, we are. Your, we, there's a price for everything. So for all your product placement <laughs> needs, yes, yes, absolutely. Yeah. yeah we, Any probably, sponsors out there listening to this? We probably need a few more listeners <laughs> to make that a viable business model. Anyway, <laughs> um, oddities. What a title. So, um, Adrian, that was your idea again. Let us know what oddities means. I, I'm nothing this year if not prolific in my ideas for podcasts, yeah. am I? So, so I have to say though, this this week, this is not a clickbaity title. Everybody will be pleased to hear. I did, I did push the limits of what I was comfortable with last week, <laughs> and if I'm uncomfortable, we're all in trouble. So, oddities. What are oddities? Right. Okay. So, this is a thing that I've done for some while, and what you know, what you know, when something catches your eye and you just make a you just capture it with your camera and mm -hmm. it doesn't fit into any projects and it's just a one-off thing maybe it's a, a splash of color or a flash of light or something like that um and then or, or maybe it's something that you're experimenting with you've, you've made you've made a photo and then you're you're playing with a new app or something and something uh, serendipitous so you know a happy accident occurs and you just want to keep track of that um how do how do you all do that right i i have a i have an album i call oddities right and when those sorts of things happen uh i just drop that photo into that album uh and over over the years that's become a a, a very rich set of absolutely you know completely unconnected images <laughs> when when you say oddities um Okay, let's 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 try to find a definition first, because I have I have the feeling that all the three of us have a different definition for what we would put in that category. So, um, I think Imar, you're right. Imar, you what, know, are, what are your thing, oddities? When I uh, spotted the idea of oddities and Adrian's sort of description of how he treats his oddities, um, I don't have an album that I put them into, which made it really difficult to find. I knew that I'd taken them, I knew the ones I wanted, but to find them again 
it was a challenge. Um, I it made me think immediately of it, like that urge to take that picture at that second that it is it's just um, like you said, the way the light is hitting, I don't know, a piece of plastic, something completely random or something that you stumble upon, which happens to me a lot. Um, and even just little details of um, you do a double take and you like have to catch that. Uh, what what is it? I think that's the really interesting part of this is what is that muse that strikes at that second that you just have to capture this picture? Mm -hmm. you, you brought an interesting point here, the uh, being able to find them again. So I like uh, your approach, Adrian, to just put everything in one album. But then on the other hand, I have been I've been trained by, well, pretty much by Google, using Google search, using Gmail um, to not put things in folders anymore, to not file them away, but to make them somehow searchable. So the search approach is, is so much more natural to me so um i don't have this one folder where i put everything for me it's um it's so how do you do it how do you find stuff then well so 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 it's this mixture of memory like you, you remember oh that was that was on vacation mm -hmm. in xyz um yeah it was yeah. probably in 2015 and uh, you can put search terms i mean we we, we're, we're talking two types of photos here. The oddities are usually my smartphone photos. And then there's the proper shots with taken with a DSLR or a bigger mirrorless mm. or something. So uh, th those live in iCloud for me. And you can search for years. You can search for keywords for a content of a photo. Like uh, there's automatic tagging in there now. So you can find cats and dogs and buildings and uh, and things like that. Um, and since probably f iOS 14.3 or something, they added captions to photos. So you can now write a caption onto yes. a photo on your iPhone, which, which for whatever reason, I don't get it. They hadn't. They didn't have that in there until just a few mm -hmm. months ago. I've just started using that, actually. Um, yeah. uh, and um, yes, it's good to know that Apple Photos is now caught up with where Flickr was in 2006. Yes. Uh, <laughs> so so and, and to do this is all you do is you, you in Apple Photos on your iPhone, you swipe up a bit and then you have this caption line, uh, which which is searchable, I think, isn't it? Now which is returning a search. Completely yeah. searchable. On Still no keywords. No, you can add keywords on your Mac, but you cannot on your iPhone. So yeah, and but I if, think, but if you add keywords on your Mac, they are searchable on the iPhone. I think, I believe, I think they are. Yes, uh, they, they, it will read them. It just doesn't give you any functionality to write them. I don't think. Um, I, yeah, and and of course, everybody uses different tools for this stuff, right? So we happen to be Apple users, and the oddities thing. And it's interesting you say a lot of those are taken on your phone, and I think that's very true for me as well. Uh, often because uh, it's it's just you you. you Often these things jump out at you when you're. It's that unplanned. Yeah, it's thing, an unplanned. Thing. It? Yeah, where yeah, you're, you're not yeah. you're not out having a, a photo walk or, or whatever. Mm. It's just like you know you'd just be going about your your daily business, whatever that might be, mm. and, and suddenly something catches your eye. So yeah, so it's uh, and plus the fact that I've always been incredibly lazy on keywording. I do it's t years years ago. I used a keyword for people. Um, so that I could retrieve whole sets of stuff uh, around people. But of course, since the technology has kicked in to do that automatically, I don't bother keywording images for that. I just wait until the software has processed it all and tells me, is it, you know, ask me the question, is so, and you know, is this a picture of Ema? Is, is this a picture of Chris? You know, and then it says, oh, you mm. have added 12 new pictures of Ema and, and that sort of thing. You know, so so that's all very nice and easy. But the, the things that I'm talking about, a lot of my oddities are in some way abstract or or experimental and it's it's um it's yeah i would prefer to be able to do everything with tags and and stuff like that but uh you know i just i just do find and i have i have an example right and it's an example from last night so as, as we record this last night that oddities folder for album sorry came, came in really really useful so uh what i was doing last night is I was making some maths books for my children. 
mm-hmm. right now that that might sound you know like it's a little bit of overkill because you could buy exercise books for for kids anywhere or anything but what i was doing was i was uh, making uh, f- um uh, notebooks in the sense that blurb the the photo on demand printing service mm. uh, in the sense that they define notebooks so you can specify a book and you can have either lined pages or plain pages or squared pages or dotted pages and you can add photographs to them uh, and mm. so i i was looking at my kids in the week and uh, my boy was doing a, a maths lesson and we were kind of running out of squared paper so i thought i'm, I'm going to make them some books as a surprise for them <laughs> Right. And so I sat down last night and I went through my oddities album and I picked out a bunch of stuff. You know, it could be a picture of a, a Lego car or it could be a, a you know, a, a selfie that we took as a family or it, whatever it is. Right. And are the, and I, are the I ones you these. uploaded to our shared album related to that? Uh, that's a good question. Uh, those probably not. That's okay. a different thing. Because I, I, I have to say we have a shared album online. We do. Um, it's at tfttf.com slash tfopphotos. It's just check the description of the show, the link to that, <laughs> um, where the three of us have each uploaded a bunch of photos, a bunch of photos from our oddities folder. And um, I, I, after you finish, I want to go through them and just have a little sure, like, yeah. uh, chat about them. Yeah, so, well, it's anyway, really sorry. interesting that you said there that, um, that you're, you know, you find that often they're quite abstract or experimental. And in my you know quest about the muse i decided to just look up the kind of etymology of the word and the archaic meaning of the word muse is a state of abstraction Ooh, i thought that was a bit interesting rad. yeah interesting I like so that. and there's also a word called museful isn't that gorgeous Museful. i have never thought to use it in that way no. so I, are musefully. things museful or are people museful everything you can look at anything musefully Ah, okay. Okay. I like that. That's a new one on me. Yeah. <laughs> this is very never, nice. I never thought. heard that usage of the word muse before. Interesting. I have to, to, no, 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 to no. ponder that somewhat. Yeah. <laughs> so so you, made, oh, I, you made... I almost went down a huge rabbit hole because then it just brings you to all kinds of stuff about what is the spark of, mm-hmm. you know, what is the spark of the muse? Or, you know, they say when the muse strikes. Mm. Yes. That, that phrase. So, like, what is the muse that strikes and... I could go down a huge rabbit hole. It's actually a pity Jeremiah is not here because this is his total <laughs> territory as well. Oh, mate. On the other hand, it, it might, be a, short, it might totally be a short be short episode with him, him not being here. Maybe that's a whole different episode <laughs> on its own. It may be. It is. Actually, I lo- I do love the fer- the phrase, you know, when the muse strikes, because that, mm. that for me, it, 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 it is... St- it is like that for me. Suddenly, there is the, this compulsion to stop yeah. what I'm doing and and capture a photograph. Yeah. Um, yeah. So. Hundred percent agree with yes. you there. Yeah. I'm sure. Yeah. Mm. I, it's it, it's just like what what do you mean you're you know teaching your child to ride without stabilizer <laughs> wheels? You know, just drop the bicycle and let the child fend for themselves yeah. and go and make the and, photograph. And I kind of. <laughs> I kind of began to think if you go down that uh, line as well, then maybe there there are gold, our total gold that we have, and that because they're unformulaic and just instant gratification, <laughs> or you know, like instantly getting what it is that you want, even if you change it or alter it or edit it afterwards, that you've caught this thing, that's yeah in this present exact split and, and second that may never be there it, that won't ever be there in that same state yeah and see, and yesterday yesterday evening i was able to just quickly identify 30 40 photos um and so many of them came from that oddities album uh and uh although some of them came from chris's method of knowing okay well i i understand we went on this you know i remember this image it was taken in on this vacation and that was last summer or, or whatever yeah so some of it was that way anyway the point is is that these things can be useful and i was happy to be able to to, to find them um and so hopefully uh ho- hopefully my children can't hear me recording this because in a few days time or a week's time or however long it takes they'll have a, a nice surprise and they'll be able to do their maths and every now and again they'll turn a page and see a fun photograph of some sort no that's a lovely idea so you made maths math ma- maths is it maths or math it, it, it's maths it, for, for for me it's maths, maths. yes yeah, maths, maths books yeah. for your kids with photos i did did you yes. did you did you go uh, 
did you go for specific photos? Like, did you, before you went into your audience folder, did you know which photos you wanted and did you find them? Or did you go through the folder and stop that whatever caught your, your, your attention? I, I think it was the latter. Mm -hmm. I think I was just looking for fun stuff. So mm -hmm. some of my experiments are things like where, where I play with glitch apps or, or where I do things that are super saturated or, yep. or something like that. Mm -hmm. Things that are jump out and be visually appealing. Um, and, and because the, the, the little project I had set myself to do was to, pro was to create something that was a bit more visually appealing and a bit of surprise and, and a bit random. And, you know, it was, it was definitely looking for information of whatever jumped out at me at the time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Inspiration even. So, yeah, because, because I mean, I have to say, I'm not only the search. I do have albums for things that are, let's say that are in a, in a group of sorts. I mean, you might remember in one right, of yeah. a couple, couple of the la last episodes, I had this Russian nuclear control center behind me yes. as a backdrop yes, when yes. I had my green screen up. And <clears throat> I have an entire folder of these, so I can mm. pick them out and I want those to be together. So there are a few mm -hmm. albums that have like a, a theme, um, but the majority of those photos are, I think my first line of defense is the little heart, the little like icon. Um, so yeah, photos, yes. F f first line Favorites. of defense, yeah. the like, and then those bubble together in the likes uh, smart album. And then from there, I might start tagging them every now and then. But that's kind of all. Sometimes it's already enough to just put them in there. Yeah. Is it, is it correct to say, Chris, that, that the majority of your photo library is in Lightroom and therefore it's probably you know, got star ratings as well and all yeah. sorts of other stuff? I'm, I'm meticulous with the photos, with the big, big air quotes, proper photos, the ones that I took on different uh, photo tours and so on. Um, those those get starred and rated and keynoted, uh, keyboarded and so on. But um, the, yeah, the, and those you're, are, you're, I you're don't a know. You're I, a better person than I am then if you're doing all of that because I don't have I any have of that to, discipline at all. Because I have to because it used to be what I do, you know, and yeah, four, five, yeah. six uh, photo tours a year and other stuff in the in, in the middle. Um, and then working on an article or a book or something, I need to be able to find these things. So that's a completely yeah. different category for me. But uh, the oddities... If I, if I look at my photos uh, on on iCloud, we're probably talking thirty, forty thousand pictures at least in there. Okay. So it's it's becoming a pretty good, pretty sizable chunk of photos. So the automated uh, organization of look mine features up, in there, they are like, actually. Let, <laughs> let me have a quick. Look I think I probably. I think I want to say it was eleven thousand I've got in iCloud, but. Oh, uh, I mean, that's not by no means the whole of the archive. Okay, 27,505 photos and 2,892 right. videos. That's what it says here. Okay, mine today says 12,419 photos oh. and 336 videos. Yeah, I am yeah, gradually yeah. over time uh, taking my archive and uploading it to iCloud. But, uh, but mine only, uh, go back to, I don't even know. Back to 2008 or nine, probably. Yeah, so, my, 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 some of my earliest digital photos actually are back to about 2002, yeah. 2000, even 2000. I think I got my first digital camera in 2000. Um, it had, uh, it, it had, uh, it shot JPEGs, and I think it had a, it had a sensor that was about two megapixels, <laughs> but it had an algorithm to uh, uh, to upres them to about four megapixels. <sighs> Great, Mine says great days, great days. Thirteen thousand gigabytes. Oh, thirteen thousand, yeah. Thirteen, okay. no, thirteen point four thousand. Right. Okay. Yeah. So that's yeah. Ju that's just a, a, a that's bit more than lot. me. That's quite a lot. I didn't. I don't actually think about it. That yeah. Much. This, and this is not a competition. I mean, it's, no. it's, pro it's, it's probably more of more more a testament you just of. You don't realize. And yeah, it's, pro it's probably yeah, more well, a, te a, lot a testament of, of of my mess that I have so many. Yes. Me well, there's, there's a lot of you know photographs of of signs in car parks and stuff like that, isn't yeah. it? So you can find your car mm. again and price tags. I like price and tags. On these <laughs> oh, I do try and you get should rid publish of those a book. ones as quickly as possible. <laughs> I'd love to see a book tags. of price tags. <laughs> Since 2012, I don't think so. Um, mm. 
So should we have a look at some photos? Yeah. Um, um, one. Okay. One more aspect about the um, oddities, but um, I'll talk about them later. Let's look at them first. So, Adrian, you've uploaded, and those are. I've, I had to look because it. This is Apple Photos. Again, this is iCloud, and the link is in the description, so you can look at them directly. I'll just leave yep. them at, on the screen as a little like a collage that it does, but it's on black, and so I had a hard time figuring out how many photos, how many where. <laughs> so we're talking yeah. about one on the left and two on the two square-shaped ones on the right side. We, we are we are and and I, i've chosen these out of my oddities album just by way of example you know to just to to bring it to light as we tell the story about how i use this stuff uh so the the first one on the on the left um is uh in the foreground uh is a chopping board with some carrots and broccoli <laughs> <laughs> and all that's happened is that i've looked at it and i've thought you know what i really like the light that's playing and the carrots are very vivid orange yeah. and the broccoli is a good a good strong dark green and i like the light and uh i'm just going to take a photo of the light falling on carrots <laughs> and that's and that's a beautiful little exercise that's so, it's lovely yeah yeah this is um, this is this is you getting an impulse to mm -hmm. take a photo following that impulse not not censoring yourself like okay, who needs that photo? No, you go for it, and um, and then you put it like a like a little like a little sketch. It's a little sketch. It's like a little still yep. life, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I like this I, a lot. I, I, it's, it's nice of you to say that, Eva. I had in no in no way had I ever thought of this as a still life, but technically, I suppose that is the genre of photograph it is. But but even just the I don't know. There's the domesticity of it. The little um, vase of flowers on, on the windowsill that looks. Like yeah, I think that's a fake or, flower, actually. But yeah. yeah, but the pink of it and the the tiles, everything about it. Is and yeah. the light is gorgeous. Well, this was yeah. just this was just on the on the surface on the work surface in the kitchen, yeah. you know. And there's a a window, and the lights coming in through the window. And I thought, I'm just going to take a photo of that. Yeah, and it's yeah. it's that, and that's by the way, that's not a that that is not an edited photo. I, I don't think. I mean, that may have done a little contrast on it just to to, mm. to capture what I was doing, but that's not heavily experimental or anything. Now, that's very definitely an example of that mm. the the muse striking, you know, where you where you put down what you're doing in this case, probably a, a chop knife <laughs> and and mm -hmm. just you know stop and pick up your phone and take yeah. the photo so yeah. so there's an example there right let's have a look at the other two so um the the one of the top right here is um is an experiment so um what you might be able to see uh oh yeah we zoom into it so so this is um uh, just just in our, our back garden i i thought you know what the the light is spilling out from the house and oh, it's lighting up at night okay it's it's lighting it's like a hopper isn't you know that that um painting with the nighthawks oh, painting I mean, yeah. the light. <laughs> flattery <laughs> flattery will get you everywhere no, but you know what i mean that's the that's probably what your subconscious mind was thinking when it went oh look at that i'm gonna photograph this so, so there is a the, the, yeah so the the i was intrigued by um yeah, what will have happened here is i'll have been inside of course because it's night time and i'll have noticed how the light is coming out through the the french door spilling on the patio and lighting up a couple of plant pots and and i just dived outside um and just thought well i wonder how i can capture that um and and so again it's it's, it's a muse striking thing when i looked in my album there were two or three of these with various amounts of camera shake and nonsense going on um but you know this this was all about the light right that's that's all it was it was like oh that's a nice pattern of light i'm gonna go outside at night and just you know and as i say it's just in the back garden it's mm -hmm. on the patio directly behind the house and 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 that's it uh so that's a bit of fun that's a bit of fun another a good example of an oddity and then last one oh and now it's lost its position there we go there we go last one okay so this is this is more of a processed shot this is probably processed in in hipstamatic um and that is a camera shot uh through the viewing hole of the pizza oven <laughs> <laughs> so so we we have, by the way, this is as a, as a complete aside and nothing to do with photography. We have this uh, sort of stainless steel pizza oven. It's a tabletop wood fired pizza oven. You put wood chips in at one end and set the fire, and it will take one pizza at a time. Right? It's a tiny little thing. You literally put it on the tabletop outside, preferably because it is burning wood. Um, 
uh but uh, and it's a it's a great little thing um and i thought you know what i wonder what i can see through there so i looked through the in, the little inspection mm -hmm. hole in the front panel just a little stainless steel door that you can pull on and off um and i thought oh wow there's look at the flames going in there so i stuck the lens of my phone regardless of what the heat might do to it i think this was my old phone to be fair um and uh i stuck the lens right up to the, the gap and took a picture of the the flame and i think i also have a video of that flame as well because um, videos of flames are quite cool aren't they mm -hmm. um and uh yeah so that was just another experiment and just a play thing um you know uh, I can't remember, to be honest, it was a little while ago. I can't remember whether I shot it natively in Hipstomatic and that's how it came out or whether and possibly more likely uh, because the colours do go quite well together. It's possibly more of a, a edit after the fact kind of thing. Um, but they, 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 and they, there's nothing important about these photos. They're, there's things that caught my eye and, and that's the whole thing of oddities for me. Yeah. Hmm. So uh, my oddities... They are four square-shaped photos, and, well, they're not actually square-shaped, but I leave them here square-shaped because uh, mm -hmm. Apple decided to present them this way. So um, one of those I have not taken myself, and that's the one at the right bottom, just to get that out of the way. That's a picture um, in the, I think it's a, in the public domain, I think it's from the Smithsonian, um, and it's a Native American sitting in front of some audio device with a white lady doing whatever her her sciencey kind of thing and I th it's just one of my favorite photos because it is so weird it's so <laughs> strange and what is happening on this it photo? It looks like an early audio recording, actually. It looks it, like it might exactly be recording onto a wax cylinder that or something exactly like that. That is exactly what's happening there. They are taking audio recordings of some songs of Native Americans. So um, kind of a documenting, documentary thing. But just the, just that the whole situation looks so strange to me. So that's mm. that something. sometimes these kind of things go into my oddities list because... I, I have an entire collection of weird audio related things because I'm an audio guy. So I have this collection of uh, <laughs> dif different hearing devices from the Second World War when they were like having these these fake big ear cups to listen to uh, airplanes uh, coming uh, from yeah. the distance, that uh, kind of stuff. So um, uh, right. yeah, yeah. It's, it's, weird. it's just pure weirdness. Um, <laughs> and then I, I, I didn't pick those... I picked those from my gut. I didn't really go and wanted to pick specific ones, but those are the ones I got stuck with. And I think the other three are more like, okay, that's that's repeating patterns kind of things. Very yeah. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. stylized kind of photos. The top is mm -hmm. like one of these, what are they called? Ball well, pit. Ball pit kind of like, things. Mm -hmm. But of course, a few nerds sorted them by color. So <laughs> um, okay. As that is, when I saw that... <laughs> Um, we're 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 a few years beyond the ball pit stage now in yeah. our house. But when I saw that, I thought somebody has been into the ball pit and <laughs> color sorted the balls. I thought, like, yes, wow, that's that is exactly that's what amazing. happened there. Um, and uh, there's a long story behind Obviously, that. But there anyway, were no children around. Um, the, and then the 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 one on the top right that is Monica sleeping on the sofa, and I I was just this is the spur of all of them are spur of the moment. This is a uh, top right is a spur of the moment thing because. The, the 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 pillow is striped and what she's wearing is striped and that is like yeah. everything's striped in that photo and that was kind i of thought funny. that was great that reminded mm. me of my like a, a mary quant fashion show from yeah. the late 60s <laughs> yeah. or something yeah. like that yeah. and it was yeah. like, like top quality fashion like. photography and then the yeah. the one on the left bottom is just one of the favorite ones that fell out of my phone over the last couple of months and it's just lent it's lentils in a big uh -huh. oh, lentils. I was going to go with coffee beans, but yeah, yeah. Okay. no lentils. lentils. And we we just we just uh, we we like lentils, so we bought like an entire bucket full of them. And <laughs> this is this is the moment when I put them into like a smaller container. I put some out for the for the pantry, and I saw the light falling on it, and I took a photo, oh. and I did a bit of processing on it. Um, and now I have this printed on my wall because it's such a simple. Cool. But, uh, Make a really hard jigsaw, that would. <laughs> oh, yes. oh, oh yes. God, yeah. <laughs> so that's that's my oddities, yeah. So uh, I think there's nice. a, bit, a yes. bit of a theme, at least, apart from the, the audio recording. Definitely a bit recording. of a theme, yeah. Yeah. So, Imar, 
four of yours. Okay, so like that very much in the same way, just something that strikes you. So the top left picture is just, it was after a night of a really one of the storms last winter, I'd say. Um, and it was, I went to work, went into work. Our building is very much all glass at the front. And um, just whatever way I looked when I turned to open the door, I saw this poor little guy stuck to the base of the window. Oh, you didn't and stick thought, it there? Oh. It was stuck there already? No, it was stuck to the outside and I was inside. So, um, yeah, it was just pasted on after a really heavy night of rain and wind. And I thought, oh, poor little guy. <laughs> Beautiful and structure actually the li- in, the, in the leaf. Beautiful. Structure. The light actually, yeah, it was sort of, yeah, the light. It was slightly translucent, so I, was, I and I did edit it uh, a bit to pull out the details a wee bit, but yeah, um, that's, so that's great. Work window. I like it. The top right one, that's a quite an old picture now because um, I remember exactly when I took it. It was another really rainy night. I was sitting in my parked car on the street waiting for my son to come out from scout scout meeting from the scout hall and it was lashing rain and uh, on the windscreen but this is the dashboard so it's the reflection of the street light which is the orange hitting the dashboard through the, ah, the rainy window that's how thought, you get the texture wow. in it, it there's nothing happen? done to, that is the texture of my dashboard in the car ah, i see the okay. those little it looks like denim almost. I don't know. It does, yeah. doesn't it? it? It does look almost like a fabric. Isn't now, there's it? Yeah, nothing done to that. I was sitting bored, waiting, hipstamatic on random, and that was one of them. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I just like loved the way that it was. I knew there was something to it. So anyway, yeah, that was my favorite one. Um, and I just I particularly liked that the, the circular frame on that for some reason. I don't know why I actually used that one as my profile picture for a long time. As with the bottom uh, left, which is the coffee, and on the top of it, what do you see on the top of the coffee? An apostrophe, which is which is my your Instagram handle. (laughs) Yeah. So um, and all my handles, kind of nearly on everything, I used it. But that was the picture that um, made me think of. Ooh, apostrophe. Oh, is that where the name came from? That's so clever because E for Emer. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. It kind of was. Yeah. Yeah. So that Um, shot, that shot is a a historic influencer. (laughs) It is actually. That was a profile picture actually um, for a while as well. Uh, Definitely. Nice. The other one is uh, old as well, but I was just, I have, I have two sheds in my back garden and one of them is uh, wooden and inside it, it it's so old and decrepit and damp. spider webs and I don't like to go into it very often so yeah so I had to go in for some reason um, to get something and uh, this was just suspended in a web uh, 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 so it's, it's me inside the shed looking out and um, that's definitely edited but I really like that um, and it's just that moment of I mean, it's a decrepit little thing, but it's gorgeous as well, isn't it? It is. <laughs> so, so you, yeah, so, is. so I can sense a theme here. At least the first three photos: big mm. round and frame filling, kind of. Big round and frame filling. Yeah, yeah. I didn't actually do that deliberately when I was picking them out. Now. Oh, same, same um, with me. Yeah. They were just the ones that came to mind, but, um, and the kind of found thing as well. Um, you know the, the the. Both of the leaves, sorry, well, the helicopter seat and the the leaves suspended on the window. Um, I love that kind of thing. Suspended leaves, two two mm. leaves suspended, suspended in a different leaves. way. There you yeah. go. <sighs> so so yeah, I I warned you that there would be one more thing I uh, briefly want to talk about, and that is um, the oddities. The odd photos, the oddities on my in my iPhone library. Um, one of the questions that I have, and I'm not really sure I have a good answer, is how to make them invisible. For 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 this reason, <laughs> for this reason, because some of those 
and you you might not want them there, but you know how how Apple makes these fully automated. I don't know what what you did last year at this time kind of curated memories. Oh, you know? yes. yeah, yeah. And yeah. and mm-hmm. then all of a sudden you have a price tag showing up in one of these or a, a photo <laughs> that you took of your shoe for some reason that doesn't go there. And I haven't really. I mean, I know that Apple is doing something there with machine learning, and they're trying to kind of keep things like that out. But of course, that's not infallible. So there will be the odd ones in there. And I find that if I want to use one of these little memory things, then I better go and edit it. I better go and take some of those photos out before I show it to someone. Not not that there's anything embarrassing <laughs> in there, but mm. it it's just like, oh, that price tag doesn't make any sense here with its with this nice <laughs> cheesy music on top of it, you know? So <laughs> is there is there do you know if there is a is a way to tell Apple that this photo shouldn't be used for anything automated? I, I, as far as I'm aware, you you've answered the question uh, yourself already as best as I could. Which because uh, other than going to edit those automated memories or videos, yeah. um, I'm not aware of any way you can tell Apple to exclude them. Um, yeah, that's a, that's a trick. Just get rid of those quickly. Well, you know. no, because I'm lazy. I don't want. I don't. You know, I do enough <laughs> management on my photos on in in Lightroom already. So I don't yeah, want to yeah. do any management on those because I have better things to do. And that's yeah. <laughs> so so one thing I found is is really it, I haven't used it in years actually because I don't I don't use the tool anymore. But one thing that was really good uh, for stuff like that it is a little bit of um, work. But uh, iMovie on phones used to give you the option of making a movie, a freeform movie, or making, I think they called them trailers. And the trailer was as was a, pre, a, a pre-edited template. So it would have music and, it, uh, and the scenes would be cut to the music and, and stuff mm-hmm. like that. But the scenes would essentially be empty. And what you would do is drop your photos and videos into them. Um, again, it's a, bit, it's a bit manual, but if you said, you know, uh, take take a bunch of photos from a particular album and then put them through an automated iMovie process. You may be better off that way than just letting the photos app do it for you. Mm. But as I say, I haven't done that in a long, long time. Um, another app that does that, actually, a third party app that does that, is called Animoto. Uh, I remember which Animoto I used years ago. They're still I remember, around. I remember it. For, that's web based, and I remember it from when it was still good. And then they switched <laughs> over. Well, they, they pivoted towards kind of cheesy themed slideshows. And that was very different from the nice and oh, swirly okay. and kind of things that they did before that are still mm-hmm. somewhere in there, but are really pretty hard to find now and not very flexible. So um, anyway, let's go to the pick of, picks of the week. Picks of the week, um, yes. I'll kick this off with OBS Studio 26.1.2. <laughs> which that's a very specific <laughs> version number it is and it has, that- there's a good reason for that oh, obs open broadcaster software is a is a free open source um video switcher the one that we're using for this like if mm-hmm. i if i if i do this if, if you're watching video right now of course uh, i can uh, <laughs> move things around switch uh, add effects text uh, captions whatever um and I'm doing this on the Mac and the version on the Mac was a bit buggy and now OBS Studio 26.1.2 came out and it is fixing a lot of things. And so if you are on the Mac and you want to do video switching, make sure to have a look at OBS Studio, the latest version, because they fixed a lot of broken things and I'm really, really happy about that. So... That is my pick of the week. Very <laughs> nothing to do with the, with the photos, but at least with moving pictures. Um, <laughs> Imar, what is your pick of the week? I, I don't have one. You don't <laughs> Sorry. have one. Sorry, I forgot. I forgot to put one in. Um, that is fine. So yeah, my pick. I don't. You, have you'll one. have to do two no, next time. Um, Adrian. Okay. <laughs> Fair so, well, I've just added one at the last minute, which I know is going to make it difficult for you to get it up on the screen, Chris, but I'll go with my first one first. And I've given it a, a fair warning uh, earlier in the conversation. So this is this is the Blurb Notebooks. Okay. Um, so 
blur, blurb notebooks. Um, so I, I struggled to find them at first, having known that they existed. You have, apparently these are offered for professionals rather than uh, so they're under the products for professionals. Um, but this is the 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 product that I used to make my maths books for the kids. Um, they don't. You don't have to make maths books. You can make any kind of notebook you like. They start off at about seventy-two pages or something like that, and you can just drop graphics or, or um, uh, you can drop photos or whatever into this book to get it printed. Not every page has to have lines or squares. You can mix and match them. You can change on a page by page basis. Any anything you want, and I just thought they were a lot of fun. Uh, and uh, I think I think my intent will be to use them more in the future. Um, if nothing else, they would make um, a good opportunity for me to foist my photography on family members as gifts, which is always a nice thing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, a nice thing to be able to do to your family, isn't it? Is force them to look at your photographs. <laughs> yeah, <that's fabulous. laughs> well, with, with I love that. Lovely. With photo books, I think it's a bit different than with sitting everyone down for a slideshow for a mandatory slideshow. Um, <laughs> that's true so, and they are useful of course because you're giving them a blank book and you're just putting a few of your photos in the, the yeah. book itself is a useful thing isn't it cool, so yeah. you know people like no books and my second one my second one has also been in use more than once this week um, and that is something that we've talked about before on this podcast uh, and it is the app Luma Fusion. Uh, which is a a video editing app uh, an NLE uh, non-linear editing Mac, uh, app. Uh, uh, Apple only right uh, Apple, in, in fact, iOS only. They don't oh. have a, a Mac version. Um, but, uh, you know, I, ha I have just got a new phone and it flies on the new phone. It did even work on the old phone. So it, it, it's, a, it's a fully functional, non-linear non -linear editing app uh, that will work on even on old phones. Um, and uh, the thing I'd like to just pull out as my pick of the week is is the chroma key function. So we have, uh, I think in our living room, there are two green screens hanging up <laughs> at the moment. <laughs> One is simply taped to the wall. The other is hanging from, from some light stands. Um, uh, because, you know, again, this is the, the homeschooling thing, right? So the kids were asked to do, uh, just to record themselves, you know, just head, just talking head type videos um, for some of their school stuff, just to make it a bit more fun this week. And so we got the green screens out and uh, mm -hmm. you know, with LumaFusion, it is, it is literally one click. You get your video and you press the chroma key button and all of the green drops away and you can see whatever it is that you've put in the background. Um, it takes 30 seconds to make a green screen video on your phone. And I think that's definitely worth shouting about because it's mm. especially for kids. It's a lot of fun. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. Like Luma Fusion. <laughs> yeah, I, I still I haven't used that, but that's probably because I'm like, I love sitting in front of the bigger computer. Mm. Um, yeah. I don't do I don't do a lot of video editing on on iOS, but that might change. No, it's very it's very good on the on the iPads actually, where you've got a bigger screen, um, and you'll find um, the 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 actual work of doing the edits is is pretty good. Um, the the slight downside is when you start to do things like trying to manage media and have your library on the on the screen at the same mm. time as doing your as mm. you edit Windows, which is which is harder to do. Mm. Um, but it is still an astonishing uh, thing, and until the Apple M1 chip. Uh, was uh, launched very recently. Um, the iPad and iPhone chips were way faster at rendering edits than any Intel-based computer I've mm. ever had. So, so um, yeah, really, all the Air One chips are doing is bringing them up to par with the iPads. To be honest, <laughs> true, <laughs> very true. <laughs> ah, so that uh, concludes this episode, episode one sixty three of the Future of Photography. Um, Thanks, everyone, for your time. We will be back Thank in you. a week from now with Jeremiah, I guess. And, hopefully. Uh, yeah. <laughs> hopefully. Of course, you can find us on the web at thefutureofphotography.com. We are on the Twitters and on Instagram, TFOP now. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Get in contact. If you have weird oddities uh, or weird ways <laughs> to organize and find your oddities, mm -hmm. we are on uh, Discord, we have our own Discord at, um, well, the link is in the description down there. So check that out as well. Yeah, some fun conversations in, in there this week, actually. It's been good yeah. fun this week in Discord. Yeah, we had we had a, a haircut conversation with uh, Jeremiah. So, um, 
<laughs> anyway, uh, and it was triggered by a photo. So that was it. We'll be back in a week from now. Until then, everyone, take care. Oh. Take and care. Bye-bye. Check bye. out all these bye bye. links and bye-bye.